The San Francisco Bay Area is home to many Korean immigrants who, inspired by the American dream, came seeking a better life for themselves and their families. But with dreams come hardships, language and cultural barriers, racism, isolation, and more. 10 years ago, a group of visionary Korean American women here in the Bay Area discovered that below the surface of successes as a so-called model minority, a largely invisible, often isolated and vulnerable population was struggling, facing serious unmet needs. There's so many in our community who are either too proud or too busy just surviving to seek help. We wanted to raise awareness of their needs and mobilize philanthropic giving among Bay Area Korean Americans while also bringing our community together. And so the Korean American Community Foundation of San Francisco was born. This community building has been achieved by KACF-SF, becoming the only philanthropic organization outside of New York dedicated to improving the lives of underserved Korean Americans, shining a much needed spotlight on issues such as mental health and domestic violence, providing strong leadership, mobilizing our community, bridging generations, and serving as an umbrella for organizations to collaborate and work toward common goals. What's been very effective, I believe, is in starting KCFSF playing a role of a convener, uh, an orchestrator, to actually uh, amplify the efforts of uh, work that's already in place. Through grant making, the foundation has distributed more than $3 million to 43 nonprofits on the front lines of serving our community, including funding to support essential services that promote the health and well being of our seniors. One innovative program uses storytelling to help address mental health issues faced by Korean seniors suffering from depressive isolation. Over the years, KACF SF's funding for Asian Women's Shelter has meant a lot for community members who care deeply about ending domestic violence. We've been able to take this very hard to talk about topic and create spaces where for many participants, they can encounter the first time that they have that conversation in Korean. The Bay Area Korean Info Line, now in its eighth year, offers a vital lifeline to those seeking Korean language information and resources. KACF가 10년 전에 시작이 되어 어, 지난 10년 동안 저희 한미 봉사회를 지속적으로 지원해 주시고 필요한 펀딩뿐만 아니라 어, 조언도 해 주시고 어, 함께 동역자로서 같이 어, 걸어왔고 성장했기 때문에 10년 전에 저희가 직원이 4명밖에 없었는데 지금은 열다섯 명의 직원이 있는 큰 기관으로 성장할 수 있었습니다. Over the years, we have seized opportunities and pursued innovative solutions to address changing needs. When the COVID pandemic hit, we found the Bay Area K Coalition to take collective action with partner nonprofits. Census 2020 gave us the opportunity to educate our community about the importance of being counted. The Karen Haas Scholarship Program was established to fund, find mentors, and provide paid internships for the next generation of community-minded leaders. Critical to our success thus far has been building a strong community of individuals. It was as if KACFSF was an idea that was just waiting to happen. It's really taken off. KCFSF has become the place that a lot of Korean Americans have chosen to give their dollars to and their time to. For me, uh, not only do I get to help people like my parents, having this bond that brings you back to where you came from is a great thing. That's one of the things actually that I love most about being part of KCFSF. We come together as a community to give to a community. It's super important for our Korean American community to come together in a way that we can amplify our own power and lift each other up in order to be able to lift other people up. I can't believe it's been 10 years. Although we are proud of what we have achieved together, there's so much more we need to do. Please join us as we continue to build an ever stronger and more vibrant Korean American community over the next decade.